this vision of Papahehi came out, and I know it, it's been done um, a few times at the, the Mary Monarch Festival, but I just seen a different um, kind of hula with the Papahehi. Even for myself, as I was dancing with Uncle George Naope, we learned um, Papahehi at that time. And it was with the dao, the, the papa, and your kalaau, and your ka. And it wasn't, there was no groove, there was no, you know, it was just the dao and, the, and the, the, the board that you had to manipulate and build up the skill with, you, with your, your feet. So I wanted to go into that direction to show the, the skill and the coordination of the dancer, uh, which took a long time. Of course, everybody makes their own, yeah? And we got the, the mahogany planks and, and uh, shaped it uh, kind of like the surfboard. So everybody had to, to do, do their own. And then we went up into the um, uh, kuahivis to go pick guava. So we're going to be using the, the, the guava um, sticks or kalaau. So what I've learned through um, uh, talking with uh, certain kumu, that Auntie Iolani Luahine um, described the papa as being the, the surfboard and the, the kalaau as being the ihe and the ka as being the shield. And what it was used for was to train the, the men of the Lua how to fight and, and build up their skills in the water. You know? So they used to have battles um, on their surfboard with their ihe, their shield, and, and that was their, their uh, training for, um, for, the, for the ocean. So with that thought in mind, um, again, Io Kepa helped me write a, a melee um, this one speaks about Kamehameha and how Kamehameha comes with his, um, his thousands and thousands of, of, of warriors and takes over Maui and how he builds these, um, he, as uh, the men are being killed, there, there, there's so many thousands of men that are being killed that there's dams that are, are being um, uh, built with the bodies of, of the, the warriors.